if that's a regret, if there's any regret, that's the major regret that I wouldn't have, I wouldn't do that. Mummy, mummy, dream day got me on. Bosley. Since last week, what's the main thing that we've been doing? So, since last week, we've been putting up the lentils. All right. So, above the back, look, this, this here and the pillar here ties in this and gives it the strength. Okay, this is my time to ask because I've had to Google this. What actually is a lintel? It's this what you see here. It's a solid block across the top. We have the metal running through it and tied in to the pillars. Yeah, so the weight locks these in. There's no, there's no more to it. Okay. Yeah. And then after this, what's the phase after? Because we needed the lintel for it, right? All right, the phase after the lintel is the block work over the top. Amazing. Okay, so um, I was asking Bill the Busby about this. Um, how many courses of bricks are we going above the lintel? It depends on what you're doing. We're doing a hidden roof, so it's one pitch straight there's no two pictures in it so traditional house that you draw as a kid is a double pitch it's a two pitch it has the top like that all right so that's what you draw as a little kid but we're doing a one pitch so all the water is going to go from the top front of the house down to the back and then into the drains and drain off so there'll be it'll be higher this side so he said four and then, this side. And then there'll be three courses So he's got four here, so the front one will be higher. Yeah, so the front one's going to be higher. Have more bricks on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fab. So let's go for it. Let's have a look what they've done since we saw you last. So it's all the way around like a sandwich of concrete. Okay. And that's given another set of strength to the whole building. And that is the really good news. Because after we have, I think, another two courses of the small bricks, mm -hmm two or four courses of the small bricks. That's my, that may be where he's talking about the four courses, because it may well be on the little bricks. Okay. Just for a bit of beauty. Yeah. Then it's the roof is gonna sit on top of that. Nice, so since last week, I think we chatted about some things we were gonna change. So we were thinking of making this the, we're now thinking of making this the playroom, and then obviously turn it into a guest room when we have guests. And then, possibly instead of instead of making this a bathroom, we were saying storage. Yeah, we've got to put all the ICT stuff and everything. All the, What's ICT? All the internet stuff, the servers. Yeah. The, the noisy, wi wiry. The wiry, noisy. He knows I hate wires. <laughs> noise. The wiry, noisy fan stuff in here up the top, and then if there's any space at the bottom, we just put our bags for holidays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's for now. It's got all the plumbing in there. So if we want, or when we're ready to change yeah. it into a bathroom on suites. Exactly. So lots of changes here, as you guys can see. 
So I was thinking about this the other day. Is there, and now that we've come this far, obviously we can't change anything now in terms of, oh, okay, you can still change stuff. Is there, yeah. is there any... It's expensive that we can change stuff. Okay. Is there anything that you would have changed now that we've come this far that you um, would have done differently? Uh, I might have put another foot in the width. Another foot in the width yeah. that way, going out. That way. Yeah. So this hallway was wider. Okay. Might have. Hello, little bee. Hi, and we, and I really like. Mama. I'm thinking about Hi guys. to make them. Um, I want real big windows, and these windows don't quite feel big enough for me, especially looking at the front room window. Sorry guys, Sam's mic seems to have stopped working. What he was saying is that he would have liked the other windows to have been the same size as this one here in the front room. It allows a lot of light in. It um, also has um, allows for the views and he's using his height to compare. Sam's almost six foot tall. So that would have been a good size for the other windows. So I would have loved to have had this as the um, double doors going into the garden so the children can easily access the front room and now that's too late so it's going to be a massive window which is beautiful but that's definitely one of the things i would have changed all right let's keep going okay so please take us into the master suite it always makes me nervous <laughs> sorry men at work what's changed since last week we've got the beam done in the middle of the room so another thing I would have done differently, but I don't mind too much. Just just want to talk about it really, chit chat for those of you who are also building at the moment. This is our office, which comes off from the bedroom. The window, as you can see, is there against the brick wall, um, which isn't the most beautiful scenery unless I get one of those curtains and black or. What are they called? Those pull-down blinds that looks like the Senegalese skyline or something. So I would have much preferred to have the window here. So this section is just to have a chat really about some of the experiences we had this week. So what are the main things that you can talk about there? Um, first of all, you asked me a question earlier about things I regret. I probably wouldn't have gone for that brick system had I known what we would go through. Um, everything that he said was an advantage to it has gone up in a puff of smoke apart from marginally like a couple of quid worth saving and that's only because we won't be plastering the outside when the brick system first got suggested to us the benefits of it were supposed to be it would be cheaper it would be quicker <laughs> we're hearing sounds crunching ice it would keep the house cool yeah. So compared to block work, these are the traditional blocks. So as soon as the blocks came, the small ones, it was apparent that it wasn't the material that he said it would be. So it was just basically an ordinary, an ordinary block. So that's not going to keep the house cooler than if it was the latrite based block. I mean, he gave reasons for that. It's not been any quicker, in fact, it's been slower and... Oh, so much slower. This is actually delayed, because the way you said it was so nice and calm and... But the process of waiting for these bricks to be delivered, for the men, one man would come, lay a brick, lay another, hey! I mean, those way bricks look wavy as heck to me. Uh, if I have to, if they don't get them straightened, I'm going to lose any benefit because we'll just have to plaster over it because he, he, he wants that but he says he can straighten it out and it's part of it so we're we're waiting if that's a regret if there's any regret that's the major regret that i wouldn't i wouldn't do that i wouldn't do that with this guy ever ever again okay what else has happened this week uh yeah we got a visit from our favorite guys at the local municipal assembly so we just had a, uh, okay, let's rewind. Throughout the build, they will come and check. Absolutely no problem. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Hey, hey, hey. He's going to go. Good grief. Hey, Raji. He almost tipped.
heart is actually pounding. He almost tipped over in our house. And now we've got some other guys coming. I think we've got the, it looks like more builders. They've got high vis on. This looks like officials. Let's see who they are. Good afternoon. Have you spoken to that yeah, car? Okay. Oh, okay. And you've spoken to my husband? Yeah, your husband. Yeah, I don't know if you've spoken to him. Okay. You've come to inspect. Hey. Your ID, Pacha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pacha, let me see your ID. They come to site and check that you're doing everything to code. Normal, perfect. We just had a delivery of sand coming in, so the gates were open. A truck pulls up behind me, a little pickup truck. Guys jump out, all rush into the into the building. Uh, don't know who they were. No one made themselves um, known. No one showed any ID. One starts taking a leak, while the rest of them are all milling around. Um, hey, there was about 12 of them, right? So there were a whole bunch of guys, as you can see from the video, we're playing in the background right now, just asking these questions. So luckily Sam um, and his cousin came in at the right time, literally behind the truck of these guys, and they confronted them. And though Sam and his cousin, you can obviously speak all the local languages, were able to confront them and stop them dead there and sent them back. So yes, it's been um, a very eventful week. Um, we'll keep you posted. We'll try to keep you posted regularly. And guys, don't forget to comment. This is a whole discussion. I'm sure a lot of you are building as well. And for those of you who are building in Ghana, what's your experience like so far? Have you got any advice for us or anyone else who's thinking of building in Ghana? Please comment below. So please guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe in 3, 2, 1. Way! Welcome to the family. And see you in the next one. Bye!